Hello, and welcome to Paradox Power Plays. I'm Dr. Mac Fox. And I'm the other moron, Shadow Remix. And we have something different in store for you all today. Yeah, that's usually what we have in store for them, something different. Well, yeah. All right, we're going to be taking a look at an early access game today. Wait, wait, What's this, this is early access? Are you kidding me? Yeah. This is so good, though. I know. This is called Space Beast Terror Fright. Yeah, you heard that right, folks. Don't let the name fool you. Or don't let any of us fool you. This isn't an easy game. No. It's from a small dev called Nornware. Hmm. Where are they based? Uh, Sweden or Norway or something? Uh, somewhere around there, yeah. Hmm. Very cool. What we got here is a roguelike first-person shooter. It's also multiplayer with up to four people in one game. Yep, this thing, and you know what? You don't have to worry about, you know, all the regular multiplayer crap you have to go through. It just works through Steam. Uh-huh. All right, let's get a game going and take a look at it then. All right. All right. Hopping in. <clears throat> Pardon moi. Yep. Oh, they changed things a bit. No, oh, yeah, they actually changed it a little bit. So, er, you know, early on in this game, you only had a rifle. Now, if you actually click on rifle, it'll change to a shotgun. Yep. I'm gonna save rifle. Uh, you know what? I'll go the shotgun just because I can. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the premise here is that you're a space marine. No, we're not talking Warhammer 40,000 for all of you who like that. But I will state, it. Think that th if you if you've ever heard of uh, uh, Space Hulk, this is your game. Premise here is that you're a space marine. You're deployed to a space station to recover data from computer terminals scattered around the map. <clears throat> and they're not easy either. Nope. And the, the fun part about the maps is, being a roguelike, you can have a completely random map, or you can auto-generate one using a serial number of sorts. Hey, you know what? Let's... Uh, here you go. This this is our random setup. If I just type in all A's, bam, new map. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna go random. Yeah. You can also have the breaches be predetermined, which is where the aliens come from, or we can have them appear randomly around the map. Yeah, and you know what? We can actually show that too. Here on your map, you got all your breaches uh, signified by capital B's. And if I put it on random breaches, oh look, they all go away. Yep. So you don't know where they will be. A breach can appear right outside your dropship. Yeah, that's happened to us more times than enough. Uh-huh. So... You're going around in this giant thing, and what are you trying to do? You're trying to shut the core down. Why? You need to get rid of these aliens. Uh-huh. But first you have to save all the data by accessing the uh, data cores. Yep. Now, the good news is, oh. as you access data cores, you get upgrades. Oh, these upgrades are these upgrades are amazing. And everything from, you know, being able to see the map to whether or not a door is open, where data cores are at, sentries, and even where the core is at itself. Mm-hmm. All right, shall we jump in? Uh, yeah. So, your main mission, we're, we're you know what? Let's just do insane breaches for right now. Random's not going to really do it for us. So, mm. I'm going to launch the mission. It, here we go. We're going to launch this mission, and you need to be wary of just about two things. The first of which is there is no health in this game. Mm-hmm. One hit and you are done from either the aliens or teammates. Yes, friendly fire is a thing. And yeah. I'm going to be nice and not demonstrate that. No, because they're and... right outside the door. Yep, we've already got problems. All right, so... Hello? They're off to your left. They're off to your left. They're off to your left. Whoops! Well, that didn't take much. See? One hit. The aliens get you. You're done. Son of a... Okay, <laughs> that didn't really work out for us. That didn't take much. <laughs> no, it didn't. So, uh, so literally, there you done. go. That's that's one hit. You're dead. This is hardcore. Bloody hell! We're taking this on with just the two of us. Oh yeah, along the way, it's also instead of data cores, you will find sentries. Just right-click to interact with them, and eventually you have a little sentry gun to help defend you. Now these, if you've ever played Team Fortress 2, da -da, no, these are these are sort of like them, except they're sort of not. What do I mean by that? These sentries will fire on other enemies, but if you're standing and if you have an enemy between you and the sentry, you're gonna get hit and it hurts. Yep. 
Also, the sentry may not fire at all if you're in front of it when it's trying to target hostiles. Oh, yeah. And so, one thing you can do to help protect yourself, you've got sentries, you've got your own weapons. You can also open and seal doors as you go. Yeah, that's always a plus. The trouble is, the aliens can break them down, so they're not a permanent solution. So as you can see on the top of the screen, I've got uh, download speed on the top left and battery, uh, battery recharge speed, the map right next to that, uh, infravision right next to that on the left, and then on the right, how much battery you have, and those can only be recharged, I think, at data cores? Is that what that is? I believe so. I think it's only at data cores, but it's really for your flashlight, which you can't turn off because that's be... Oh, here's a couple of data cores right here. Yep. Yep, there you go. It's already charging on the data cores. I'll Next grab to... another one. Oh. oh, we have trouble. Shoot him. There's a breach like right in there. So as you I can got see... the core. I'm trying to see where the breach is. I don't see um... it. Oh, I there have... it is. I've got short it's behind range. that wall in front of me. And then, obviously, you saw the round counter, and that then he's off to our right. Here they come! There's more data cores this way. Yep. Right, I'm trying to find the breach. Oh, it's down the hallway. It is down the hallway. Shoot him down. Now if you... Oops! Well, that answers that question. We're using a shotgun. Nice choice. Close the door. Idea. Whoa! Oh, what am I doing? Got the sentry. As you can see on my weapon... You're dead. <laughs> well, as you saw on my weapon, it, it, it turned... Did I kill you? No, you can't have! Wait, how does it say friendly fire? Oh, because they jumped on top of you and then I shot you. Ah... Uh, that's another thing about this game. When you're doing multiplayer, what is it, spacebar? That'll toggle between uh, single view or split screen so you can see where everybody else is and what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I can... Well, and we're going we're gonna to show you that here in a moment. Um, because, no, this isn't the end of the video. Trust me, definitely not the end of the video. Oh, it's right next to us. Oh, shoot. I hear it. I got him, I got him, I got him. So, this isn't the end of the video. No. I'm dead. Oh, there you go. There's a split screen. Yep. Me. But um, you're going to see four geniuses, morons, really, play through this game, and a couple of times we do succeed. With all of us, maybe once or twice. Indeed. So, so yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the upcoming series of videos as we really take this game for a test drive. Oh, we do. And we take the game for a test dive. Uh, test dive, really? Test drive? I can't talk. Test drive before this update even happens. So we didn't even have shotguns, guys. Mm-hmm. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride as we wait for Mac to either finish this or get killed. I'm hoping you finish this, though. I'll be impressed if I can beat this on my own with insane breaches. <laughs> it is? Oh, yeah, I did put it on insane breaches. Yeah, the odds are not in my favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hello. That sentry's gonna run out of ammo soon. Oh yeah, that's why I've got extras. There we go. Oh, yeah, you got four of them lined up. Or three, whatever. Is there a data core nearby? Ah, so uh, there is. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of them. Oh boy. Well, at least you have a short-range tracker. Yeah, that'll help. Oh yeah, that reminds me, in the top right-hand corner, that little circle thing that's your short-range tracker can turn into a long-range one. And then that little thing next to it where it says airlock, sentry, reactor. Sometimes when you pick up these data cores, it'll tell you where airlocks are, sentries are, reactors, and data cores on your map. Mm -hmm. It does help. Ooh, 280, that's uh... Oh. So, yeah, the level of the breaches determines just how big of alien swarms you're going to have to contend with. In this case, on insane breaches, you're going to end up with huge swarms of them. Speaking of which, here they come now. 
So, uh, as I was trying to say earlier, if you notice his weapon, he's got uh, different colored numbers on there. Sometimes the data cores will give you ammo right there. Yep. The, and it goes by tier. The higher uh, the higher the number or the number on top of each one indicates a stronger bolt. I think the strongest is blue or is that green? I think it's green. I think there's a breach somewhere nearby. Oh yeah, you're dead. Yeah, I'm finished. I can't even see where I am. <laughs> well, well, I got several of them. Yeah, you did. But uh, as I said, we've got both of us. But uh, coming uh, coming up soon. You'll see four of us try and go at this before the patch. Which I still can't believe we finished them sometimes before the patch. Oh, yeah. I don't think we missed anything, though. Is it... I'm pretty I sure that. Everything. Yeah, I mean, you, you got your sentry guns, you have your data cores. Oh. We explained the breaches. Yeah, we explained the breach. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know, this is really hard when, you, when you're trying to do a video. And I'm fairly sure you guys are listening. Like, did, did they miss anything else with it, with it? No, actually, I think that that's pretty much it. You just have to be wary of where you're at, what you're doing. And there is no way to turn the friendly fire off because you will kill your own friends. I've already done it. Max already done it. It just happens. Remember, friendly fire isn't and bullets have right of way. Oh, yes, they do. So stay tuned on Paradox Power Plays as we bring you, in the future, Space Priest, Terror Fright. But not with two people. Again, it's with four glorious morons. This is Cheesecake Remix of Paradox Power Play. If you enjoyed the video you just saw, please give us a like, subscribe, or maybe even leave a comment so that we can all keep on Power Play. Perhaps check out some of our other playthroughs. Always plenty of last to be found around here. Don't worry. Take your time. I can wait.